menus, hosting, and WordPress are up. It's all good. Um, so now we need to get some content on these sites. Uh, before you kind of go about writing your copy, what you probably want to do is set up these um, domains in a way that um, basically you, you don't have to log into all of your different installations of WordPress in order to post articles. So the setup So again, there's loads of tools out there to do this sort of stuff. Um, most of them are kind of overkill for what we really needed to do, so it's sort of this simple kind of plugin, uh, which you can download if you want to use it. Um, basically, you install that on the on the central WordPress installation, so you keep that site private, put it on a subdomain or a you know, .google or that sort of stuff, and install the plugin on there. It doesn't need to be on the network site. And put in all the details of um, all of your different blog network sites, and then you get a normal kind of hosting screen. But on the right hand side, you just basically select which of your sites you want that post to appear on. Um, so it's kind of a, it seems like a small point, but cutting down on that grab and going between these sites is pretty big if you want to scale up this network. Um, so I, I mean the content itself is going to be a challenge because you know, so you want to launch with five or ten posts on each of your domains. Um, if you've got 50 sites, that's like 250 articles to each right. So it's not a small task. Um, I don't think it's something that you want to be cutting corners with. Um, I would really avoid using stuff like the spinning and these kind of auto-posting WordPress plugins, that sort of stuff. Um, it's just going to degrade not that expensive to get 250 reasonably decent articles written these days. Um, and I mean, I, I put quality content on this. You, know, you need to be realistic about that. It's not going to be awarding the stuff, but if it's written in English and it's, you know, it, it's possible, then it's probably going to be better than most of the blogs out there. Anyway. Um, and, and again, just like, <laughs> sites as well as commercial sites, um, including images, video space, and stuff like that. Just want to really help. Um, in terms of actually getting hold of the content, um, I've tried loads of different options for this. Obviously, if you can, you want to try and get this for free. So um, I haven't actually done this, uh, but I know other companies who get kind of work experience kids in or interns in. Um, it's a really good task to get them working. weeks and get them writing articles for your, your network. Um, if you work in a bedroom like me, you're probably not going to be able to get any um, work experience kids to come to your You probably will have to pay for the content. Um, I've tried kind of all of the outsourcing options like Odesk and People Per Hour and stuff like that. Um, which they work um, they work pretty well for other things, but for copyright I don't think they're great. The main problem with it is end up um, spending a lot of time managing your writers rather than doing stuff that actually matters. So the solution that I've kind of ended up with is using textbroker.com a lot, which um, is possibly a service that people are familiar with. It's, you just put in your, go to the website, put in the article titles you want written, and they get distributed to textbroker writers and come back. Um, the thing I like about this, again, I mean, the, the actual content is fairly dubious, but um, what you can do if you're using a system like this is you can install the text broker WordPress plugin on the central site. Uh, that lets you order all of your content from inside WordPress, get it written, it's going to get delivered back to your kind of hosting screen. And then all you need to do is go in, approve it, and then decide which of your sites you want to put it on. Uh, so that might be a good option to explore. Um, I shouldn't get this too fast because I knew I was going to be running out of time. Um, this is quite a major component of this, obviously. If you've got 50 sites out there which are brand new, um, 